Mm. I'm unmuting the microphone now. So we've got the sound back. You ready? Yeah. Another minute to go. I think my, my clock's right, I think. I'll, I'll, oh, I'll, I'll delete this bit mm. to begin with, don't worry. Oh, it's just a frozen screen over there. Where's that? Oh yeah, that's just that's just that. Yeah, that's just the frozen screen. Okay, ready? Mm. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for coming to our first Google Hangout. My name is Charles Ward. Um, I've worked with Teresa for about five years now, helping her with the website. And tonight is our first Google Hangout. Now, the idea of the Hangout is to show the puppies. Um, but obviously, I'd just like to hand over to Teresa for a second, just so she can have a little chat and say hello to you. Teresa? Hi, thank you, Charles. Hi, it's Teresa here. A lot of you I've met in person, but um, a lot of you I haven't. But thank you so much for following us. Um, we've brought our puppies here for you to see. Um, it's always better to see them face to face than by photographs. Um, this is the first one that we've got. This is from Mia and Dexter. Now this little girl is tracking to be seven pounds, fully grown. She's an absolute little, dark, little doll. She's a vibrant, vibrant orange. If you see the side profile of her, she is very, very flat faced. She's got a perfect little face and perfect conformation. Um, also in the litter we've got a little boy. Um, which I'll be showing you next. Um, just a second. Hey, hang on. Just before we do that, can I just share the screen, just talk about the parents? Yeah. The right? yeah. By the way, everybody, this is our first Hangout, so if we make a few mess-ups, I apologise, but bear with us. We will learn as we go along. I'm going to share the screen now. Oh. Sorry, that was a bit of a technical hitch there. <laughs> Sorry, Teresa. We'll get there in the end. I thought I was the beginner. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Okay, so before we actually show you the other puppies, um, we have a slight apology, mate. We were hoping to embed a live chat window in the um, in our page on the website tonight, but we had a few technical hitches. So, if you do have any questions, please do e email us. Uh, for those of you who don't know, our email is Teresa at karashishishitsus.co.uk. Obviously, at the end of this, we will try and answer any questions that you may have. So, the first mum is Mia. Do you want to have a little chat about Mia, Teresa? Um, Mia is. A very, very fun loving little girl. Um, she's got great character and is really funny. She's all, very, very naughty, but not in a bad way. She's she is absolutely full of fun. Um, absolutely love it a bit. She'll she'll be at home here for, for all of her days. We won't be ever parting with Mia. No, how how many litters has she had before, Teresa? This is her second litter second now. Second litter. And was the, who was the dad for the first one? This is a repeat mating oh, okay. with Dexter, yes. So let's have a look at him. This is Dexter. So tell us a little bit about Dexter, please. Well, Dexter is our little stud boy. He's vibrant orange, very, very unusual. Um, the only This is the only time I've seen the colour um, coming over from the States. Um, he's got nice short back, short legs, and he's absolutely a little cuddle monkey. He's very, very affectionate. 
and with the two having the um, orange in them, they've produced vibrant babies, um, as you've just seen with the girl. Um, I've also got a boy here to show you um, from the same litter. Um, this little boy is um, tracking to be eight and a half pounds. Um, you can see how vibrant his colour is and he's also, although the, the um, camera is showing the lightness on his, that his legs are a little bit lighter because Dexter does actually carry the Dobie gene. So, um, but as I said, he's going to mature to about eight and a half pounds and he's a, he's a lovely little boy as you can see. Um, profile of the face, very nice short flat face. Um, but very compact, <laughs> lovely yeah. little chap. So um, he? yeah, he is. Um, that both both of these are eight weeks old. Um, they were born on the first of um, October, so they're just about ready to go now, fully weaned, um, and really love to be cuddled and full of fun. Thank you, Teresa. The, are there any more for no, Mia? no, that's okay. all all of us for for Mia and Dexter. Um, our next one's a Melody Melody and Dexter. Let me just go back to the screen share for a second. So um, the next one is Melody. Have a little talk about Melody. Melody is is your little your dog that you would see in children's films. Melody talks to you. Um, you talk to her, she talks back. She's very, very smart. She's slightly bigger than the others, but she's got one heck of a personality, and obviously she is the do she is Dobie marked. Dobie marked being um, with the lighter uh, shading over the eyes, um, on the cheeks, down the legs, and under the tail, which you can actually see from the picture. Um, what actually Dobie does mean, which a lot of people aren't aware of, but she's a lovely girl okay. and um, she's produced some lovely puppies for us. Okay, and the dad, of course, is Dexter. Dad again. is Dexter again. Um, we put these together for the first time because Dexter carries the Dobie gene as well. Um, so we were quite excited as to what we, we, we were going to produce. Um, and we've been really over the moon with what we've got. The first being. Um, a little we a, li a little boy. Hold on a minute. Let me just go back to the. There we are. Now this little boy is absolutely stunning. He is a little cuddle monkey. He's mm. he's slightly. He loves his tummy rolls. He his tummy rubs and he's very very affectionate little boy and such a pretty face as you can see. Now he is tracking to be a bit bigger. He's tracking to be about eleven pounds. But he's actually, we are actually letting him go for a special prize. So if you are interested in him, in him, please give us an email and we can tell you more about him. But he's absolutely gorgeous, as are his sisters. But um, we've got one little girl that's left that hasn't been sold yet. Um, but as I said, I'll show you show you to her next. But this is, but he is absolutely gorgeous. You can see the red. That he's got in him, in him, in his in his undercoat as well. He is gorgeous, yeah. isn't he? Gorgeous little boy. Bet they're wondering what the hell's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have Melody's little girl. Now she is a really pretty little thing, and again, you can see the Dobie markings in her over the eyes, under the chin, down the legs. And under the tail. She's going to be a lot smaller than her brother. She's tracking to be about eight and a half pounds. Very, very affectionate, full of fun, loves her toys. Mm -hmm. um, she will make an ideal family pet or whatever you want her to be, but I know that they're both going to have Melody's character characteristics in, um, in their character. I think that's all Melody and Okay, Dexter's. that's all Melody. So I'll go back to the screen then and show the next litter, and the next parents. We've got Emily and Chico. Okay, so this next month, have a chat about Emily. 
Emily is just a beautiful little girl. She's got a perfect flat face, short little legs, and an absolutely gorgeous temperament. But I have to say that all the dogs have got a lovely temperament, which I think a lot of you have seen when you've come to visit, which you're more than welcome to do at any time. Um, just give me a ring and you can come and view the dogs and the puppies at any time. Um, Emma, Emily is, um, she loves to be cuddled, loves affection all the time. Um, this is a second, um, her second litter, but it's, this is the first time that we've done a mating with Chico. Um, and Chico is, is our new little stud boy that we have at the moment. Um, this is a picture of him when he was younger. Um, he's also got the Dobie markings in him as well. Um, and he's a very short, cobby little boy, short in the back, short in the leg. And um, he weighs around seven pounds um, fully grown. What does cobby mean, actually? Cob out? Cobby is kind of short, sh like short in the back, short in the leg, not long in the back, but compact. Compact is probably a better word than cobby, but um, it, it kind of means the same. Um, th this, the first puppy that I'm going to show you is the tiny little boy that we've got. Now, this, this little chap is going to mature to probably about six pounds. Now, if you see his lovely flat face, I think you can see the profile there okay. Now this little chap is on hold until tomorrow. I don't know whether you're watching deeper, but um, this is the little boy that you've actually put your deposit on. And I think um, we've arranged for you to come and view tomorrow. So um, this, this is the little chap that you wanted to, wanted to, that you like the look of on the photographs. You gonna look at the screen. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a lovely little liver nose. He's very short in the back, short in the leg. So he, as I said, he's, he's going to be only six pounds fully grown. He's the smallest one of the litter. He's gorgeous. Yeah, he is. Right, the next one there that, that we've got here. Is this the next litter? No, this is the next next one of the litter. Is um, the boy, because Emily and Dexter had a rainbow litter. I don't think you can pick up the black very well on the screen. Um, That's his eyes. His eyes, aren't, yeah. his eyes aren't showing up all that yeah. well. But he's absolutely gorgeous, lustrous coat, beautiful, beautiful head. Um, he's tracking to be about eight and a half pounds fully grown. Um, no white on him at all. Um, lovely little chap. Jet black, isn't he? Jet yeah. black. and But look at the, lust, the lustrous coat he's got. He's mm. got a gorgeous coat. Emily's puppies are always stunning, and they've just got the lovely baby doll faces. Mm, lovely. So, right, the next one that we've got. Is the, the next little party colour. Um, part, party meaning like two, two different, two colours on the dog. But um, both of these puppies are show marked, which means that they're very evenly um, marked um, ac across the whole body. Um, he's going to be slightly bigger than the other little uh, the other little chap, but he's going to probably be lighter because he's going very lighter in the undercoat. Um, he's he's tracking to be approximately. Eight pounds, I would say. So it's like a couple of couple of pounds bigger than than his brother, but um, as I said, still still going to be a nice little compact imperial. He's beautiful. Yeah, he's a lovely little chap. I do like the party colour yeah. ones. I yeah. like them. They're lovely, yeah. aren't they? Very yeah, catchy. absolutely. <laughs> well, we've got one more to show. And this is for you, Kat. I know you're watching, um, and this is your baby that you're picking up, the, the beautiful little Romeo. And he's being picked up by Kat tomorrow, and she just cannot wait to pick him up. She's so excited. He's a lovely chocolate colour. He's, he's, she was worried because he didn't walk last week, but he's walking now and playing with his toys and full of fun. And as you can see, his coat, Cat is totally bushing out now. 
So, um, little Romeo will be going to his mummy tomorrow. Nice name, Romeo. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Very unusual. Beautiful. <laughs> He's going to be loved to bits because I know Cat's going to spoil him. <laughs> He is cute. cute. Yeah, he is. He's he's gonna be he's tracking to be about seven pounds fully grown. So he's kind of in between all of them. They're all gonna be small, but again, nice short legs, nice short compact body, and beautiful flat face as you can see um, in the profile picture. Next litter. The next litter we've got is um, Dolly and Dexter. Dolly's quite new to that. Is Dolly quite new to you? Do Dolly um, is is a new one that we've um, brought in because we were going to put. She's the, she is um, a small standard, but what we've done is we've put her with Dexter, um, our American boy. Um, Dolly has got champions, um, Harapine champions, and Wingate champions in um, her pedigree. She's got the most amazing short little legs, um, lovely coat, and a, an absolutely gorgeous black mask, which you don't often find it actually staying there. But hers is. She's a very striking little dog, as you can see, and you can see her little dog, her little legs, and they've they've actually been passed on to her puppies. So um, her, her little puppies have, have got the same little legs. They, they are um, slightly bigger than the Imperials, but they are still going to be small standards. Um, the, the, first, the first one we've got to show you is, is the little boy. Um, the little boy, um, he is quite a chunky little monkey. But absolutely beautiful with mum's black mask and we think that he's probably going to be the same as mum um, when he actually matures because he's he's going very light in his undercoat as you can see um, he's tracking to be about 13 pounds fully grown um, again nice flat face um, and look at his little legs Mind you, his sister have got his, his sister's legs are all even smaller, but he is a, he is a lovely, lovely chunky boy. Because they're um, slightly bigger, the these puppies are going to be at a more reduced price than than what normally the puppies are. So if anybody's interested, please just give us an email and we can give you more information. The next next puppy we've got is a, a is an is the little girl. This little party girl, she's absolutely gorgeous. I was trying to take some photographs of her earlier, but she was just having none of it. All she wanted to do was play. Um, she's beautifully marked, as you can see. Um, she's tracking to be 10 pounds fully grown, so she's going to be a very small, um, small size Shih Tzu. Um, it's only an estimated um, weight that we can give you, but um, we've been monitoring her weight or all the puppies weight from when they were born and each week we track their weight to see what their estimated adult size should be but obviously we aren't we're not actually feeding them so it, it is only an estimate so sizes do differ um, as I said she's got lovely confirmation she's got beautiful markings and um, she's just very much it's going to be very much like her mum what does confirmation mean Teresa they're, they've got their they're perfect show oh, quality, okay. Okay. really. Um, they're, they're perfect, um, perfect leg size, body size, um, and just a beautiful little dog. Yes, she is lovely. She is a little. She, she wasn't lovely today when I was trying to take po photographs female. of her. <laughs> right, and the last one of Dolly's is. This little chap, this mm -hmm. little girl, rather. Another black mask. Uh, yes, another black mask, and she has the dinkiest legs that you could ever mm. see. I don't know whether I can lift her face up so that you can actually see them, but she is gorgeous. Look at her flat face, beautiful, beautiful, very, very pretty face. 
Um, she's tracking to be about 11 and a half pounds fully grown, but um, she's absolutely full of fun. They're ready to go. They're 10 weeks old now. Um, but as I said, they, they are going to be love. They are lovely, lovely puppies, and we will do this. We'll probably try different mating next time, and perhaps perhaps use our stud boy um, Calypso next time to see what they produce. But we're really pleased with what we've had from this litter. Lovely. Yeah. Now our next, the next thing I've got to show you is. A surprise for Ellie and the girls, if you're looking. I know you've been wondering and wondering all day, and I thought I'd leave it till now to be a surprise. Now, this is our beautiful Queenie. Queenie is our tiny little girl. She's been through the mill today, because at lunchtime today she had puppies. I'll just show you her face so you can see what a pretty face she's got. She, today she had, um, we've, we've mated her to Dexter and they've had some beautiful puppies today, three girls and two boys and um, I know Ellie and the girls, I've promised you first pick and also I think Nikki is very interested in these girls, I don't know whether she's watching but they've arrived today Nikki so um, more pictures tomorrow. Now. Um, Poor Queenie, she's very, very tired now. She's she's had quite a gruelling day. This is her first litter. Now I've got another surprise to show you. Oh. <laughs> Don't know how to. Which, that's probably the best. Yes. The the best angle to show you these her babies. I Hi. mean, now these are probably six hours old. A tiny, a tiny little and a lot of them they're perfectly marked. Um, all of them are perfectly marked and we've got two little boys and three little girls. Not a lot to choose from because they're all beautifully marked this because this will probably go a light gold later on very much like um, Queenie is but they'll all be these will all be tiny. We were surprised she had five because she's only a tiny little dog um, and we were amazed to find that she had five babies. But um, Three girls and a boy, was it? Three, two girl, three girls, two boys, mm. yeah. yeah. But um, so Queenie has been really tired today so she's on, she's on cooked chicken tonight and um, being very spoilt. I don't know whether you can see the there's a little boy here, very, very light in colour. We think he's going to probably... Is that him? No, that's the girl. Is it well, no, I don't, don't know. I think it could be this one. Yeah, he's he's the tiniest boy, boy but yeah. he, he's got more white on him than anybody has. <coughs> Cute. But, um, but that's all we've got to show to you tonight. But I thought we'd... We added these on because we thought it would be a something special because I don't expect a lot of people have seen day old Shih Tzus and um, well, especially not Imperials and um, you can see then they're the size of them they're um, as small or smaller than a mouse so <laughs> but normally by, by day two or day three they've actually almost doubled in size they've actually got bigger in the last six hours so um, they, I would have said they'd probably increased by a quarter since they were born easily. Yeah, okay. But they're all feeding well and doing very well. For them Absolutely more, beautiful. Looking for yeah. more milk, I think. Yeah, yeah. And it's I think they're going to have a nice little liver nose too. So they're, they're very, very sweet. I think we better put them back with okay. Mum now. Chris, thanks. Steady. <laughs> So just a quick reminder, um, if you have any questions, please do email us on uh, Teresa at karashishishishis.co.uk. And thank you all so much for coming tonight and taking the time to watch our Hangout. Uh, we've really enjoyed talking to you and showing you the puppies. And we're going to be doing it again, and we hope it's going to get better. So, if there's any <laughs> <laughs> so don't mess up again. Don't mess up again. Yeah, right. <laughs> 
<laughs> if anybody has got anything that they would particularly like shown next time, um, if you email email us, um, we'll try and um, show you any particular dog that you'd like to see, but you're unable to, you're too far away or whatever to come and see us. Then we're quite happy to actually include that dog for you so that you can actually see it, um, see it face to face. You can also call us as well, of course. Uh, what's it? Oh one seven nine four three two three two eight three. Is That's that right? Correct, okay. Yeah. So give us a call if you want to. And this video will be on that embedded on on a page on the blog as well. So if you want to come and watch it again, you can. Uh, thank you very much for coming again, and good night from us. Thank you. Bye -bye. Good night. Thank you.